Hello and welcome. In this video, we want to find the following limit. Limit of absolute of 2x minus 1 minus absolute of 2x plus 1 all over 4x as x approaches 0. The problem that here we have is the absolutes that we have in the numerator. So first, we have to try to get rid of these absolutes. Let me remind you the definition of the absolute. To get rid of the absolute, remember that absolute of a function, absolute of an expression like f of x is either equal to f of x if f is positive or zero, and absolute of f of x is negative of f of x when f of x is less than zero. For example, absolute of x is equal to x when x is positive and absolute of negative x is negative x when x is negative. So absolute of any expression like f of x is equal to f of x is equal to itself when f is positive. But f, if f is a negative expression, absolute of that negative expression is negative of that expression. So this is how absolute function, absolute works. Here we have 2x minus 1 and 2x plus 1 in the absolute. We have to see inside the absolute is positive or negative when x approaches 0. When x approaches 0, when x is a number close to 0, note that 2x minus 1 is less than 0. So, attention, this is very important here. If x is a number very close to 0, it doesn't matter it's less than 0 or greater than 0. If x is close enough to 0, 2x minus 1 is less than 0. Why? Because when x is approaching 0, 2 times x is also very close to 0. And that expression, which is very close to 0, minus 1, is obviously negative. So, 2x minus 1 is less than 0. And because 2x minus 1 is less than 0, so, absolute of 2x minus 1 is equal to negative of 2x minus 1. Why? Because of the definition of absolute. Attention here. If the expression inside of the absolute is less than zero, absolute of any expression is equal to negative of that expression. But what about 2x plus 1? When x approaches zero, 2x plus 1 is greater than zero. Because 2 times x is close to zero. Attention again, x approaches zero. So 2 times zero is zero, zero plus one is positive. And because two x plus one is greater than zero, so absolute of two x plus one is two x plus one. Attention to the definition again. Absolute of any expression is equal to the expression itself when the expression is positive. And because two x plus one is also positive, so absolute of two x plus one is itself, is 2x plus 1. Now that we can get rid of the absolute in numerator with these two relations, finding the limit is so simple. So, let me clean here to have a space to show you the solution. Now we can rewrite this limit in this form. Limit x approaches 0. For the first absolute, we have absolute of 2x minus 1 is negative of 2x minus 1. So negative of 2x minus 1. Minus, don't forget we have a minus here. So put that minus. And absolute of 2x plus 1 is 2x plus 1. So 2x plus 1. Don't forget to put a bracket for that all over 4x. Now if we simplify numerator, 
by multiplying the negative in the brackets, we have negative 2x plus 1 minus 2x minus 1 all over 4x. If we look at the numerator, you can see that we have a negative 2x and another negative 2x, which is negative 4x, plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So numerator is negative 4x, the denominator is 4x as x approaches here. If we cancel x from the top with x from the bottom, we have negative 4 over 4, which is negative 1. So the limit exists and is equal to negative 1. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next videos.